One of the things that we try to do on the news at 11 is focus on solutions. The number of people murdered in our city this year is already more than last year. Mayor Bowser and the D.C. police chief say the suspects are usually young men. And instead of making them sit behind bars, a D.C. jail is taking on a new approach. Lorenzo Hall has this story you'll see only on WSA 9. The D.C. jail is ironically giving a small group of inmates, including Dravon Galloway, a dose of freedom. So you come in here like I'm, I'm, I'm incarcerated, but you're mind free. You locked up, but you're mind free. Free because this section of the jail is designed to be more therapeutic, focused on rehabilitation, especially for those who have been exposed to a lot of crime. You coming from them type of neighborhoods and you having trauma. We grow up seeing people get shot or people getting killed. Galloway is in the Young Men Emerging Unit. An area of the jail transformed to include space for Zumba sessions, yoga, and even workout rooms. While many jails have programs for inmates, this one is strict and structured. They can come out, take a shower, uh, eat their breakfast, and basically do what you do outside, outside in the world. They have college level classes, homework every day, meetings with city leaders, and time to meditate. And here I get time to grow. I get time to think. And it's a lot of long time. When you're in the community or when you're in your household, you ain't got too much in a long time. It was just a regular housing unit. D.C. Department of Corrections Director Quincy Booth says this pilot program is targeting men between the ages of 18 and 25, from drug dealers to robbers. Young people are still developing into who they want to be as an adult. And so we wanted to provide a space where people can heal, can grow, and learn. The goal is to keep them from returning. Of the more than 400 inmates at the D.C. jail treatment facility, nearly a quarter are men between 18 and 25 years old, a demographic most likely to end up back behind bars within a year. Now, being 19, I'd have been arrested probably about six times. This program, infused with trauma treatment and counseling, is also based on a mentor-mentee relationship. Those serving lengthy sentences are brought into this unit to get these younger men to think about all the consequences that come with a life of crime. My mom was 52 years old when I first came to prison. Now she's 77. That's my queen. That hit him like a ton of bricks. D.C. leaders started this unit after visiting a maximum security prison in Connecticut, where a similar program has been in place for more than two years. These individuals are going to be getting out. They were on 60 Minutes earlier this year touting the program's success. It's more human. That's what it is. It's too soon to say if these programs are working, but at the D.C. jail, some of their data for the first year shows 129 men have gone through this unit so far. And while some inmates are transferred to federal prison because of felony convictions, a total of 72 have been released. Only eight have returned. This was the expression wall. Raekwon Fletcher is one of those released. He's been out for a year working as a paramedic. Like I didn't really know who I was and how much like fight I had within me until I actually came in here and sat with different people of the same circumstance that's dealing with the same problems. Man. As for Galloway, he'll get another chance when he's released in the fall. This was Galloway's first time in the Young Men Emerging Unit. They say never, say never, so I'm going to say I'm not coming back. In the district, I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.